This is a video about the 2016-17 time jump. Um, time jumps happen in Fanwar um, every year, but this year is a big time jump. Uh, they're really rare, and usually the time jump is about 20 years, and this one was a big one, 60. Now that's actually not that big for a big time jump, but it's still going to do a lot of uh, things to our game world, and so I'm doing a little video to um, talk a little bit about it so that we can save time in events when we're doing time jumps, that sort of thing. For characters. So first of all, 62 years is a lot of time. Uh, a lot of characters that, that were just made last season are going to be, you know, in their 80s now and almost unplayable. So that's going to be something you need to be ready for is that your characters that you made last season may not really be that usable unless they're elves or dwarves or hobbits. Uh, even then, hobbits would have a hard time. So um, just be prepared for that. Uh, overall, what I want to do in this video is mostly talk about what's happening in the game world um, in the time jump over these 62 years, what's changing in the world, and this gives you an opportunity to make changes that you want to make as your character. Your character gets opportunities to choose uh, when they roll their time jump what they want to change or fix in the world. And, uh, and so I'm going to tell you what's going on so that you can decide what you want to roll on and what you want to try to fix. Uh, I will be telling you where it looks like trends are heading, and that will give you an idea of where you want to put your political weight behind, uh, what missions you want to try to get done, and what things you want to get accomplished. So first of all, overall it's a pretty uh, bad situation for most people in Rokon region. Uh, it looks like we're headed into a dark age. Uh, that means it's a period of time where there's a lot of loss of uh, research, a lot of loss of um, ability to do things, of, of, of um, culture. A lot of things are being lost in this 62 years unless uh, people try to keep those things. So you'd have to pick that as your time jump goal is to try to keep those things around. Um, some bonuses are that uh, the Free Republics, which has kind of been torn apart and has no king or queen, uh, is solidifying, it looks like. It looks like, um, unless things go much worse, that the Free Republics will solidify and we might have a new Free Republics on our hands uh, after the 62-year time jump. Um, you know, that's, so that, that's good news, but it's some of the only good news. Uh, Dagdoth did really well in this jump, and they're poised on, like, they help control all of Blackspire, so it makes it really, really difficult for our players to um, to battle them, and they're in a really good position. So they did very well. So unless a lot of people oppose Dagdoth's invasion, Dagdoth's going to control a large percentage of the map in this next coming season. Uh, same is true of the Dark Wilds. The Dark Wilds did very well in the time jump as well, and unless people oppose the Dark Wilds, they'll probably control the entire top half of the map as well. So this is going to be really bad for most players. Uh, some other things that you might want to think about throwing your weight against. Um, the, uh, there seems to be a, a, a pretty severe civil war in Temnor. A lot of humans trying to take back their government. Um, there's been a breakup of uh, two different groups of undead. It looks like um, they're, that uh, Rissic and the undead dark heroes are going their separate ways if, if nothing, unless nothing changes. Uh, but you can throw your weight into making sure that happens or keeping it from, from happening because what the result's going to be we don't know. Um, a lot of things uh, were very precarious, but seem to be being held together by um, by forces that are not necessarily known. So either somebody else that we don't know about is kind of throwing their weight against these things to keep the kind of world together, or um, or uh, it's just been very very close roles. Either way, we're not really sure. So in, in other turn, in in other parts of the events, um, like I said, Dagdoth did very well in this time jump. So. Uh, really not good for the rest of Rokron. Um, a lot of people did really poorly. Um, Sveldon's doing very poorly. Um, Gramion also doing pretty bad, but but I think better than um, than Svodlin. Um The fairy folk um, did start to come back, but uh, did have then a decrease and start to start to fade again. And they're trying to to recover, but they seem to be having some uh, pretty major problems still. Um, the uh, Ilianos seems to have a really rough time up in the uh, up at the plateau too. So unless people do something about that, it's gonna stay pretty bad. Uh, overall, general just nations. Uh, like I said, Svolden doing very bad. Dagdoth doing really well. Uh, Ilianos taking it really rough up there with two opponents from on either sides. So unless something changes, they're gonna be in a really bad situation. Uh, Odal Watch. There's not much of them left. It's just rebels. But the rebels do seem to be doing okay. Um, uh, Geb is pretty much got smashed by a lot of other people, and they don't look like they're going to recover much. Um, Andy and I seems to be doing okay, uh, but losing a lot of their culture. Um, Stonehammer, uh, like I said, not doing that great, but managed alright. Um, Hostors are having a, a kind of a really big issue. Remember, this is just the, 
the uh, island of Hoster, not the school. That's Pinnacle. Um, Amir doing really poorly, or Ryri doing really poorly as well. Uh, Black Spire didn't get their, their territory back. Ian Ion also really suffering. Um, uh, Astengrad um, had some really big problems with their entire culture and uh, is really uh, kind of losing a lot of their ability to control uh, areas. So a little bit more about that in a little bit. Um, Temnor doing okay, but mostly because they're trying to take back their, their government. Uh, Desnor doing doing pretty rough, uh, but they're trying to reunite the, the nations. Um, Sauraconia doing really badly as well. Um, and uh, that's much much all the people really know. So really not a good showing for, for anybody <laughs> in the in the, in the nation other than uh, that they were tar starting to see this kind of regalvanizing the free republics. Uh, so um, in terms of, of individuals that you might be interested in throwing your weight into uh, kind of protecting or keeping around, um, uh, most of the main uh, people that you're that we're aware of, like, you know, Electrobosium, Laura Whitelock, Solana Newform, these sort of major players, um, all seem to be doing uh, well enough. Um, None of them uh, it seem to be, uh, you know, in, in big grave danger of losing themselves, that sort of thing. Um, there's other uh, characters, too, that all seem to be doing uh, fairly decent, although the 62 years does take a lot of people out of play completely. Um, so so um, in terms of really much bigger issues, uh, there does seem to be um, a diminishing of uh, magic in just sort of a very large general ray. Uh, if nothing changes, um, very likely Elder Sorcery is going to like not really be functional in the next season. Uh, custom um, custom spells, all that stuff probably will not work. Rotators probably be fine, and other spells too. Uh, it also looks like we're lo just losing an interest in mages in general and schools of magic uh, due to this. So it would, looks like there won't be really much way to train as a wizard or a mage next season unless people decide to try to keep that alive. Um, the only places that you could train would be real mage wizard schools, proper ones, like Pinnacle, Astengrad, that sort of thing. And this is going to be a hard fight to do because magic is really fading and there's a lot of loss of that. Um, and why is not known. You could try to research that or throw your weight against trying to keep it around. Um, that's up to you. Um, so that's a big uh, development in uh, in game world. Um, most of the Pinnacle mage uh, teachers all did fairly well. Um... Uh, Minimo Ronkai um, uh, uh, died, and I'm not sure uh, how well he's going to do overall in the in all of that. But overall, um, most of the w wizard teachers um, they did fine in terms of surviving, but they they've all lost a lot of their power, a lot of their abilities. Um, and unless you if you want to throw your weight against that to try to keep them from doing that, that's that's all right. Um, a important note: uh, Byron Ten, the new necromancer teacher, it looks like he lost his position. Um, and has been kicked out, uh, and unless somebody um, wants to try to stop that or do something about it, he will have lost his position. Um, uh, other things, uh, Priestess Elder Goddess and Elder Goddess sort of missions, that's all of those uh, seem to be doing fine. Uh, there are a few key um, uh, people like uh, Janice Wolfrunner, who it looks like she's going to PD unless somebody wants to try to save her. Uh, she's um, uh, one of the the main sorceresses, uh, dwarven sorceress um, at branch, and uh, so if we want to try to save her, people would need to do something about her. She's gonna, she's gonna PD. Um, uh, other things um, in the uh, Spire Guard uh, region, uh, the council, um, uh, Natara Karras's haunt um, goes missing, um, and so people want to try to stop that, or do something about that, or investigate it, that sort of thing. That can be done uh, as a time jump goal. We'll find out what's going on with that. Uh, Tracy Oleania also, she's in charge of magical law. Looks like uh, she get, she's going to get killed or in, um, and some really bad stuff's happening to her unless people want to try to stop that. So it looks like somebody's um, trying to um, uh, stop some research that she's doing. And so if, uh, and then she got on the wrong side of that. So if, if you guys want to help keep her from getting uh, killed or her research stopped, then you'd have to throw your weight against that. Um, also, Alarin F. Hampton, he's in charge of historical research and historical accuracy, also gets offed during this period unless somebody um, wants to try to stop that. As well as um, Kamtul Thulia, she's in charge of, uh, of uh, theater and, uh, and uh, all of the um, uh, social relations of Spireguard. So unless somebody wants to try to stop that, she's also gonna die, uh, at least not necessarily permanently, but, um, but will take some deaths. 
Uh, so that's most of the gist of the whole thing um, in terms of overall game world. Um, uh, these are the main things to, to be thinking about. You know, uh, the magic uh, being something that uh, may be fading in a very strong way. Um, trying to regain the free republics is, can be a goal. Um, trying to get Black Spire to get back their land can be a goal. Uh, hold, but holding off Dagoth is a major one. Uh, trying to help Timur recover from their civil war and regain their control of their country is one. Um, what to do with Geb? Geb's kind of now um, disrupted and they don't really seem to be recovering, so um, you could throw your weight against that. Uh, restoring Pinnacle. Pinnacle seems to be you know, losing a lot of their power. Um, uh, Hostor itself is losing a lot of its control. Uh, Svothan's getting just demolished by, um, by the Dark Wilds unless people do something about it. Um, and uh, um, uh, Stonehammer's not doing that much better. Ilyanos too, just getting crushed. So it looks like we're going to see a pretty um, dark age. Um, there's a lot of loss of, of ability to make magical items, magical works. Things are becoming much harder to make. Um, it doesn't look like we'll have a, um, a, um, a waypoint system or anything like that, although there's some other uh, looks like newer types of transportation that may be coming out of this dark age. But it really depends on what you guys do. So it's up to you to decide how you want to affect this, how you want to change it, and this month will determine if we end up in a very dark age or in a just, you know, minor dark age that we can recover from. All right, good luck.